every session we get is limited. Every opportunity to interact with each other is limited. We've got to take every opportunity we can. Lads, uh, they're not coming here to, to mess about. So yeah, it's really, it is quite emotional speaking about it because there's lads here who are my teammates and there's some lads who aren't here as well who haven't made the cut um, and it's difficult, like, it is really difficult because for them that is the end of the road now. I completely flipped my life upside down, you know, professional rugby player to professional dog walker and dad. And then I think it was just before Christmas, we kind of got like a bit of a glimpse of, you know, this could, you know, go somewhere. And there is going to be, there is going to be a programme. Um, what it looks like, no one had any idea. It was sort of just the bare bones of it all. And that's when I really sort of, sort of had a, a little bit of, I don't know, a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I was obviously backing myself to get a contract, given my experience and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, I knew it could be bad news. And I remember the phone call and I just dropped the boys off at, at nursery. And I kind of had to look at it for a second and think, oh God, this is going to determine my, the next six, seven months of my life. And yeah, it was, it was scary, but obviously it's good news that I'm here now. So obviously you can't see under this mask, but I am smiling. Every session we get is limited. Every opportunity to interact with each other is limited. We've got to take every opportunity we can. This, we've had this a few right, times. Buddy. It's awful, GB. Oh, look at this, the rock's right, going Rocky? Yeah. Not bad, how are you? Yeah, All right then, what do you need from your GB? Grab a tissue. Yeah. Let me take your temperature hat off. Oh, okay. Fella. It's going to be hot with the hat then. 36 that time. Just tilt your head back a little bit and then I have to push it in rotation until you yeah, yeah. five times. Oh, all this jazz. Each nostril, okay? Okay. That you'll be fine. Ready? Go back, head back a little bit. Yeah. Five. Well done. All done. Oh, Jesus. Amazing. Well done. Um, can you put pants on for the medical, please? I've got them on already, Jimmy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> My job is to basically keep an eye on all their health and well-being. Uh, beyond COVID, so keep an eye on all the COVID measures and our practicalities around that, hand washing, temperature checks, all our COVID swabs, and then uh, on top of that, look through their medical history, uh, find out what injuries and illnesses they or their family have had in case things are run in the family, what medicines they're on. Um, I'll do a quick examination of the relevant bits if they've had recent injuries or recent operations, as with a couple of the players, um, make sure those bits are pretty functional. They're basically going to be safe uh, and good enough to train uh, and if we need to modify any of their activities then I'll talk to our strength and conditioning coach. Uh, if they need further rehab, typically it's end stage okay. stuff, then that will be alongside our physios. One, two, three, four. What I'm doing is essentially called a sports concussion assessment test, a SCAT test, and it's to check everyone's concussion assessment and give them a baseline so that whenever a player has a head injury and we want to assess them, we've got something to compare it to. So if they're off their baseline, then we know that there's a likelihood that they've had concussion and we can remove them from play and reassess them later. Sugar. Sandwich. Wagon. A candle, paper, wagon, baby, iron, sunset. I'm honest, I'm nervous. I'm not, I'm not done a lot of coaching, funnily enough. Uh, so the last time I did any coaching was uh, with the USA in, in the middle of October. I'm just nervous for the boys as well. I can't really describe how happy and excited you are to just be back and be involved in a group like this. It's, it's quite weird because like, I used to do athletics when I was younger and then I always wanted to go to the Olympics. So, you know, it could be, you know, for me, it would be an unbelievable dream come true if I went. 
we sort of gone all in and, and gone with the rugby straight away because um, we realised the need to sort of get the boys up and playing. We fully expect to be quite messy, uh, a, lot, a lot of mistakes probably, but I think we need to work through that. And you know, one of their core values they believe in is resilience. And I think today we'll find out how resilient they are in terms of dealing with those mistakes that they wouldn't normally make if they'd been up and playing. You know, in this time, we're incredibly grateful. Like, we have to be grateful for the opportunity we've got. Like, like we have to celebrate that and use that as our motivation to say, like, this is, we've got an opportunity here. First session up boys, I thought outstanding. The attitude, some of the skill level, phenomenal, phenomenal. This is definitely the light that, that people have been looking for. It's been, it's been talked about in different guises for the last kind of four or five years since, since Rio. Um, and it gives us an opportunity now, not only to compete in Olympic Games from a performance point of view, uh, but to look beyond that and, and look to see what, what happens post the Olympics. This is, this is bigger than sevens. This is bigger than the medal. This is, this is kind of the future of, of what we want to do within Britain. Um, and whether that's a GB side or, or wherever it may go, it's just great for the sport that we've got this platform now to build off. At the end of 2020, there was uh, some conversations going on uh, with National Lottery around around the sponsorship and the funding of a, of a potential GB program in in 2021. Um, and then through that time, you know, it got confirmed in December, uh, and then a very rapid rise to to make a new program uh, in two months in the middle of a pandemic and, and Brexit and everything that's going on in the world uh, and the restrictions that, that brings. Uh, to get a programme up and running from, from March the 1st, uh, it's just been an exceptional effort from, from not only the team here with, with GB7s and the work that's been going on to, to get this up and going, but, but from all unions to kind of buy into this new, new programme, new regime to lead into the Olympics and, and for this whole 21 season. Hey, these are massive goals. The whole thing with this new group is we're not trying to copy things that have gone in the past. Of course, we'll learn some lessons from them. Uh, and the great thing is we've got three unions, ideas and, and kind of cultures and, and, and previous beliefs coming together. And, and we don't want to lose sight of that. But equally, I say this is GB7s and this is the journey we're going on as a group. Uh, and we can kind of run our own journey and our own story through the next few months with that. And that, that's really exciting. You know, not many people get the opportunity to have something in 149 days time for the men and 152 for the women to kind of hang their hat on and write their own kind of next chapters on that. And culture is a big word and it's used a lot in sport. But, but most importantly, what are those behaviours that we want to see um, in, in the group, uh, the whole programme? <laughs> Shift early, early Muggs. All right, I'm going to hedge my bets this way a little bit. You got that flat one? All right, Temmers, can you shift left? Can you shift right to get to Bibbs as well? <laughs> Lads, I've got over the top of this wide pod. Yeah, shift, shift, shift. You might want to shift early. I'm just going to go high on the left. Temmers and Coombs, you start like next to each other. Shift really late. 
and see if you can just confuse them because then we can put the kick either in front or behind the pod. Try and target the pod in front or behind. Help him out! Yes, Tim is outside you. Yeah, see if you can get to Verge. Ah, yeah. Still on, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, that was a bit early. I wasn't sure if I was going to draw him in and put it over. I think we just want it early again. That's the same one we're talking about here, where we're halfway. We probably need to demand that a bit more of him as well. Make it easy. Well, yeah, great fuck boys. For me, first week, I'm so happy to be here. I've loved every minute of it. Um, I'm, looking, I'm really excited where we go next week. So just thank you for all your efforts.